The voiced velar stop is a type of consonantal sound, used in some spoken languages. Some languages have the voiced pre-velar stop, which is articulated slightly more front compared with the place of articulation of the prototypical voiced velar stop, though not as front as the prototypical voiced palatal stop. See that article for more information. Conversely, some languages have the voiced post-velar stop, which is articulated slightly behind the place of articulation of the prototypical voiced velar stop, though not as back as the prototypical voiced uvular stop. See that article for more information. IPA symbol The symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet that represents this sound is, and the equivalent X Sampa symbol is G. Strictly, the IPA symbol is the so-called single-story G, but the double-story G is considered an acceptable alternative. The Unicode character U plus 0067 G Latin small letter G renders as either a single story G or a double story G depending on font. The character U plus 0261 Latin small letter script G is always a single story G, but it is generally available only in fonts with the IPA extensions Unicode character block. Features Features of the voiced velar stop its manner of articulation is occlusive, which means it is produced by obstructing airflow in the vocal tract. Since the consonant is also oral, with no nasal outlet, the airflow is blocked entirely, and the consonant is a stop. Its place of articulation is velar, which means it is articulated with the back of the tongue, the dorsum, at the soft palate. Its phonation is voiced, which means the vocal cords vibrate during the articulation. It is an oral consonant, which means air is allowed to escape through the mouth only. It is a central consonant, which means it is produced by directing the airstream along the center of the tongue, rather than to the sides. The airstream mechanism is pulmonic, which means it is articulated by pushing air solely with the lungs and diaphragm, as in most sounds. Occurrence of the six stops that would be expected from the most common pattern worldwide, that is, three places of articulation plus voicing, P, B, T, D, K, P, and P are the most frequently missing, being absent in about 10% of languages that otherwise have this pattern. Absent stop P is an aerial feature, see also voiceless bilabial stop. Missing, on the other hand, is widely scattered around the world, for example, is not a native phoneme of Dutch, Czech, Finnish or Slovak and occurs only in borrowed words in those languages. A few languages, such as modern Standard Arabic and Urban Levantine dialects, are missing both, although most modern Arabic dialects have t in their native phonemic systems as a reflex of Q or less commonly of J. It seems that t is somewhat more difficult to articulate than the other basic stops. Ian Maddison speculates that this may be due to a physical difficulty in voicing velars. Voicing requires that air flow into the mouth cavity, and the relatively small space allowed by the position of velar consonants means that it will fill up with air quickly, making voicing difficult to maintain in t for as long as it is in d or b. This could have two effects, and k might become confused, and the distinction is lost, or perhaps a t never develops when a language first starts making voicing distinctions. With uvulars, where there is even less space between the glottis and tongue for airflow, the imbalance is more extreme. Voiced t is much rarer than voiceless q. Many Indo-Aryan languages, such as Hindustani, have a two-way contrast between aspirated and plain. Examples. See also. Index of phonetics articles. Notes References <laughs>